Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This is a weekly coffee cup reading starting from July 2nd to the 9th, um, 2023 and it's for the whole collective for each and every one of you. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do this for some time. I started doing every two weeks one uh, sort of reading for every star sign and that fell apart due to my um, excessive uh, throat chakra usage. So I am um, decided to go back to this and at least on the weekend you'll have something to um to to know to understand and and you know the messages that come through for everybody uh, throughout the week it will give you a little bit of support at least and knowing what is coming and why certain things are taking place so glasses on let me show you um everything this is, looks amazing uh, this is the wow it's a beautiful bird here absolutely excellent okay let me start from the beginning and what i'm seeing here is inner peace it's like you're searching in search of inner peace even though you're preoccupied preoccupied or busy or you know um I see you remaining calm despite of the circumstances. I also feel like the answers are within you. It's like as though you know everything and you know why certain things are happening. So you are becoming calm. And if you're not, if you're not aware, then I feel like your intuition is going to let you know um, something um, about the outcome. And that's what it seems like you're concerned about the outcome. The outcome is going to be uh, just fine in regard to something that you have been questioning. There is a mysterious event that's going to take place. Something mysterious. I feel like your intuition is trying to tell you, but um, it might take at least maybe um, one to three days or weeks before this matter is um concluded what's amazing here i'm just seeing somebody okay so i'm seeing a beautiful love heart but i'm also seeing somebody like shushing someone like shush you know like stop talking like keep quiet for some reason i don't know what that is exactly um maybe you need to listen maybe that's what it is because i'm seeing there's a there's an ear here so you need to listen. Maybe you're, you're excited or you're talking about things and you're missing out on what they're saying, what the other party's saying. So they're saying, listen, it's like as though the light is coming in, information is going to come in uh, to help you understand hidden matters in, in the way somebody is speaking. So listen to what is being said because I feel like um, hidden matters, uh, revelations, even secrets or even accidentally people might say something and and you on un, you understand what's going on this could free you from something and put an end to something also now for those of you who have been feeling as though you're working too hard or you're doing too much you need to really slow down some of you may be dealing with an inflamed unbalanced kind of situation there may be some inflammation sorry some inflammation or what is it i'm trying to see yeah. some sort of unbalance there's an, un an unbalance it's a situation or maybe to do with your health your body maybe balancing your emotions maybe through exercise healthy communication or journaling like some say or taking you know talking about it sometimes helps also um but taking care of your body your mind all that it's very important perhaps meditation um, swimming you do need some relaxation that's for sure I'm seeing a beautiful garden here but before I get to the garden I'm seeing there is uh, options here and you need to be very very clear about your options I, I see as though um, you need to choose with wisdom like listen to your intuition if it's saying no or if it's saying go for it um, try to be 100%. You need to discipline. There's structure and discipline needed in the way um, in the way you look at things because it looks to me like you may not be seeing things clearly and maybe wishing for something that... Maybe uh, wishing for something and it might not happen the way, the way you want it, but you may be thinking it's possible. So there may be a risky venture here. Be very... 
alert and recognize what's been offered. You may be um, seeing things, um, misrepresenting something. So um, I do see, but however, there is a beautiful opportunity for you here. But whatever you do, self-delusion can cause trouble. Be careful of that. We've got um, a dragon here. Chinese year of the dragon. Oh, sometimes the dragon is about delusion. In areas where you are overwhelmed by problems and personal issues, I feel like very uh, soon this is going to clear, perhaps in a few weeks' time. I also feel like um, maybe those of you who are forced to live by the rules of others or at the mercy of other people or circumstances, that entrapment is coming to a very close ending. Very soon it's coming to an end. There are solutions and you are going to find them. Emotional withdrawn, maybe uh, because you're emotionally withdrawn, maybe you're not able to find them, but I feel like you will find them. You need to figure things out and um, on your own so that you are aware of what's happening. You need to spend time to think and understand what's going on because I'm seeing um, somebody leaving, not happy, dissatisfied, disappointed. A situation, you know, where you need to take action, you seem to have a little bit of a bad attitude or disappointment is causing that attitude maybe. So you're leaving a situation, whether it's a job or a relationship. Um, I see you either leaving or some of you are traveling or relocating or moving away, looking elsewhere for uh, more happiness and more understanding, more satisfaction. You're making dramatic, dramatic changes in your life. And the light is coming in, which is beautiful. It shows that these uh, dramatic changes in your life are going to carry through your plans. And you are going to have the success you want. And you are transcending where you are now. Concentrating on the, pl uh, on the pleasant situations is very, very wonderful. Concentrating on pleasant and happy memories. It's all great. Uh, something that may comfort you but you've got to be careful that you don't dwell a lot in the past or get caught up in something i see a box here it's like it shows that you know you need to let go of things that are bad for you or the things that are not letting you move forward and there may be someone or something from the past that brought you happiness but you might be visiting that is okay but not sort of you know not get caught up there i feel like you are going to heal from from um, the past. For those of you who have lost someone or, or grieving or maybe you're still grieving the loss of someone, I feel like that grief is going to take time, but you are healing. There is the light coming into your cup and, I, and I'm seeing into your life and I'm seeing a doorway. There's a doorway and a window. Even though sometimes you feel insecure, and um, not sure, not certain about things, your insecurity um, is going to push you to grow. You are going to grow beyond where you are today. Freedom is another factor. I see freedom here to the highest level. This doorway and window that are opening, you know, it's amazing. Uh, the window is opening because there's an, there's an end of a chapter. A chapter of your life is coming to an absolute end and a new window, a new chapter is opening. And I feel like this is going to give you a great conclusion and you'll know exactly where you stand. I see a masculine energy here. Masculine energy, someone very logical, assertive, protective. Sometimes they can be egotistical, sometimes. But I feel like this person could be making um, an impact in your life somehow. This person may have, may have... Um, I can't say what they They might have fire energy in them. Sagittarius, Aries, uh, Leo, either one. Um, I do see also there's a beautiful loving relationship, a very nurturing relationship between you and someone. I'm seeing the rat here, Chinese year of the rat here, and I'm also seeing a shirt. Uh, the rat represents sometimes... Um, Sometimes the rat, among other other mice around it, it shows that there could be problems. Uh, first, it's the Chinese year of the rat, whether it's yourself or somebody. Uh, the other fact is, 
uh, the, the mice around the rat is really interesting because the mice represent um, family or friend problems, issues, talk, uh, information going and coming. Um, in regard to maybe a position that you're offered where it puts you in authority, maybe it's about self-control, maybe it's about willpower. Uh, many matters are being discussed but I feel like you are going to assume control of the situation and you are going to be doing exceptionally well. I feel like you are moving, leveling up big time in your position. You're taking responsibility for something. You're protecting and, and you know, helping those who are who don't have your expertise. They don't have your um, your capability, your leadership capability. And I also feel that you could be connecting with someone of... Um, maybe Aries here or fire maybe fire energy or Aries I'm seeing um, four here number four could be Chinese zero of the rabbit or cat or could be April somebody born in April could be Taurus or um, uh, Aries but also I'm seeing fire energy and water fire energy we already talked about Sagittarius Aries Leo but the water energy now I'm seeing uh, which is um, water energy is Scorpio cancer pisces now there could be a situation where you might be this could be a situation where someone is connected uh, the chinese ear of the rat is connected to the situation also uh, to this water energy this water energy is someone uh, could be um there's also chinese ear of the monkey someone very romantic very magnetic um careful they're careful with money but this person uh, emotionally they're not quite happy maybe it's because you know they do make a perfect partner uh, but sometimes they they can be uh, sort of you know their feelings are changeable they're not quite happy but there is a lot of positive they will impact your life in a very positive way because they're very nurturing because we've got the water energy don't forget so um this person is going to be very supportive in your life support you in some way um yes water energy scorpio cancer pisces don't forget to watch your general reading for your star sign that will tell you exactly what's needed and who this person is and what are the star sign combinations so you can understand uh, their personality and how they are uh, there is something about finally you fulfilling a lot of your dreams uh, um there's a lot of success, glorious success coming your way. A lot of recognition, a lot of rewards and a great victory. Positive effect is taking place, all positive. Everything is going ahead as it's supposed to be. Um, there's a lot of rewards for hard work at the same time. But sleep, I'm shown that you need to sleep. It's as though you're not sleeping enough. It's as though you need to replenish uh, or perhaps you're tired that's what it is you're tired and you need to sleep more you're too tired so the universe your guardian angels are saying to consider extra sleep extra relaxation feminine energy here someone very very um, intuitive nurturing this person sometimes can be insecure codependent and sometimes uh, you need to understand how to deal with this person uh, it's not easy um this i'm trying to work out what for uh, yeah there could be uh, water energy again water energy here strong again which is scorpio cancer pisces i feel like this is and yes uh, this is a situation where it needs a lot of healing this person needs healing and i think this person's a lot of compassion and love will do the healing understanding more than anything else on top of love and compassion will heal this person i feel this person needs your your support for their self-esteem for their confidence and i also see the sun sorry i'm just fixing my glass glasses okay um as i was saying I also see the sun shining on the situation, which is going to help with self-esteem, with success, good health, and also personal magnetism goes really high when the sun is um, in your cup. Uh, although it brings you, also it brings you happiness and it brings you uh, abundance of success, 
successful the situations are completed successful successfully so um you will improve a lot of the conditions of how things were left or how many things they need uh, repairing in the relationships or at home or at work the sun is going to give you the warmth the power the ability uh, the radiance to move forward and to heal you heal any situation that is um there a beautiful money path here a path of money, a path where money is about to come. You're going to find a way to make money. Maybe it's a source of income. It could be um, a new source of income, but you're finding, you're discovering it somehow, um, a new way of making money, which is really wonderful. There is a garden here. It could be connected to outdoor work. Um, gardening, nature and gardening is shown here. I also see Mother Earth shown here. So it shows to me that you need to connect perhaps with Mother Earth and connect with outdoors and breathe. Maybe there will be an idea of how you are impacting this um, incredible idea. I also see uh, medicine here like herbs and health matters, aromatherapy and uh, shrubs and herbs. So I feel like connecting to earth and using aromatherapy or any kind of natural remedy is going to help you big time. September. September is here. It shows that something wonderful is happening in September. A message is coming to you. There's a beautiful bird. Uh, a message is coming in September and it is about, um, I'm seeing the different kinds of trees and wands. Uh, this is fire energy. So fire energy could be connected to somebody um, like Sagittarius Leo Aries. I also feel like it could be yourself. You could have fire energy within you. Something is starting. Something is igniting in September. This something is going to be spectacular. You are going to love it. You are going to love what's coming in September. I feel like there's a lot of growth and abundance. A lot of sweetness. There's a beautiful bee here. A lot of sweetness is coming into your life. And gentle touch gentleness you need to be gentle you need to take care of yourself and be more gentle on yourself gentle with your thoughts gentle with your words you need to treat yourself with kindness and you need to have loving friends that treat you that way too family and environment all that is showing that you need to be cared for you need gentle gentility in your life Number four is here. Number four is connected to the Chinese year of the rabbit, connected to April, people born like Aries or Taurus. Um, and it also shows that there could be a water energy here again. Water energy is all over the place, uh, which is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But I'm showing here that it's time for you to take a trip, maybe. I see that you may be considering taking a trip, whether it's a short trip, maybe it's September trip. September was there before that. Um, you need to... You need to do something. You know, you need to... It's showing that you're mingling with people that are really wonderful and cool and happy. Um, I also see you lying down here. Yeah, lying down and thinking about your future with someone perhaps. You're thinking about someone and your future, whether that's going to go ahead or not. Uh, this year, the year of the rabbit, will determine what will happen in this regard. Maybe you're too afraid to ask to talk about the situation because maybe there's uh, issues and a lot of quarrels and disagreements that take place. Maybe there's disagreements in the situation, but I do see you freeing from this situation. From July onwards, there's freedom. There's healing. There's something about sex, um, sensuality intimacy something about that that unites you with someone and then there is a separation again so maybe your sexual life is very good your intimate life is wonderful with this person that's why you lie awakening and th awaken and think about the future but uh, maybe just perhaps it might not be quite enough to let this uh, move forward i do see that you spend when you're together you spend quality time together listening and talking to each other and trying to resolve uh, matters. But again, um, I feel like then after that, everybody goes back to what they love and then there is a, a sort of a disconnection. 
then you start reevaluating your desires and 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 everything like that. So there could be a situation where the start of a season is doing something, and and it could be September. Um, I feel like you are going to be empowered, a new experience. There is a party or a get together. You're leading something. You could be doing. You could be throwing the party. There's ideas, but there's situations that are burning out quickly or stopping quickly, but there are beginnings igniting. And this is happening at the start of the season. And it doesn't tell me the season, but I did have September. So it could be, uh, what's September? Over here, it's spring, over the world. I think it's the fall. Um, yes, yes. You are going to take inspired action. And you are supported to take inspired action. That is so important. So your intuition may be pushing you and and and, and helping you to move forward and take the desired action. And the desired action is going to take you to the next level. I feel like something incredible is happening at the beginning of the season. Prepare for something spectacular. Of course, don't forget the coffee cup does tell us things that um, are about ahead. Uh, things that uh, are not to do just the week. Whether I like it or not, I've got to talk about it. September came up. Now, September can also mean one more thing. It can mean that it is the somebody born in September. So there could be Virgo or October. You could be dealing with, with someone um, born in those uh, times. September is connected to the Chinese year of the monkey. So you could be dealing with, this could be about someone uh, born in the Chinese year of the monkey. What's amazing about this, I did see number nine here also, nine and two. Okay, let me tell you about nine and two. Yes, the coffee cup is about from the second to the ninth. I just thought about that now. There's also an apple. Sometimes things tempt you. Temptation is there. The, se the second and the nine, Chinese year of the ox, buffalo, Chinese year of the monkey twice. Somebody could be miserable because of someone born in the Chinese year of the monkey or because of someone born in the Chinese year of the ox. I'm also seeing the letter A here, the letter A for apple, Alaska. I'm seeing K for kilo, uh, kiwi. I'm seeing also... Um, a beautiful love heart that's igniting, a beautiful heart, a beautiful love situation. Someone uh, sending you some information, texting you. There's a text coming that's going to really make you think. Um, someone is trying to fool you at the same time. You've got to be very careful. They don't put one over you. So just extra caution. Chinese here of the doggy are very strong. There's a pet here also and a child for some of you having children. Some of you are buying a new pet, perhaps adopting a new pet. And there is um, a beautiful dog, Chinese ear of the dog. I also see a horse, Chinese ear of the horse. I'm also seeing um, Scorpio here, very strong, very strong Scorpio. I'm seeing um, the letter S, S for Sweden or for sweet, um, for September. I'm seeing also... Um, there's going to be something that you are going to do quite right and you are going to be applauded for it because I'm seeing a tick. So um, there's a tick there. Something is going to go really right for you. And I'm seeing also some, some other matter, L, L for London, L for love. I'm seeing also um, SH, SH is there also, S and H together, which makes it shine like sunshine. S for sweet H for honey, so honey, also H, and I'm seeing um, the letter Y, which signifies yes for something, and it's also in regard to a name that begins with Y or a situation uh, to do with Y. It could be yes, and it could be um, Y for yellow. I'm also seeing um, a magic wand here, something that's going to trans transpire, take place like magic. Something incredible that's going to empower you big time. Some of you are standing on uh, uncomfortable ground. And I see a beautiful emu here. Not wanting to see the reality. Uncomfortable ground means instability. In some area of your life, you're, you're feeling insecure, unstable. You can't make it right. Next to that, there's an emu. And an emu is always known to put its head in, in the ground. So that means it doesn't see what's happening around it. Uh, this means there could be a denial. There could be delusion. There could be um, 
find, finding it difficult to see the reality. Maybe the reality is too harsh uh, to be uh, explored. Maybe you're dealing with something that you love so much that you don't want to see the, the um, negative part of it. But I do see there is a phone call. And this phone call is going to be bringing you some information, information coming to light, uh, revelations coming to light. And also I'm seeing, um, there's a beautiful boat here, which shows that ultimately you are going to get what you, what you need. Uh, I'm also seeing, uh, the Chinese ear of the rat again, the rat, the rat and the dog together. I'm seeing the rat and the dog. It's as though they're collaborating, uh, trying to make something happen. Very interesting. The Chinese ear of the horse is there also. And um, I am seeing the snake here. I'm seeing a beautiful white snake. And the white snake is about abundance. Money coming in either from a windfall or from some source. That is so, what's the word? So, so much. It is massive. So sometimes the white snake, not sometimes, most of the time, it is about winning the lotto. You can Google it. Uh, according to ancient wisdom, we've known this. Now, even in the Google, they actually say it. I've Googled it. But I always knew that the white snake from ancient times, my grandparents used to always tell me, and it came from their grand grandparents, that the white snake is about winning the lotto. So there could be a big windfall. There is a major transformation in your life happening a bit later on. It's not now. It could be happening in this year or it could be happening next year because it looks a little bit up. There is a key at the end of your reading and a balloon. A key is getting uh, something new maybe moving to a new place, buying a new house, getting a new car, key. Uh, it is also, the key is also a resolution to something, something that's been stuck, you're finding solutions, uh, and the balloon is celebrating, celebrating something incredible. Balloon is also about happiness. It's about celebration. It could be a birthday party. If it is a birthday party, I wish you the best of the best. Happy birthday to those of you celebrating birthdays within the 2 and the 9, uh, July 2nd and 9th. Happy birthday to those of you celebrating. And that is the end of your reading, my dear viewers. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, I wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and write your opinion about what you think. Comment and don't forget to watch your general reading according to your star sign, which tells you a lot. And your money reading, especially because we've got this white snake carrying things uh, on its body right here in your cup. And I feel like with this white snake, this um, abundance of money that will come, it will open two chapters in your life, two new chapters, two new offices or two new homes, two new businesses that you will be probably paying them off, especially one of them that you might be having financial difficulty in it already will be uh, resolved. There's resolution and there's the key right there. So, um, wow, that was amazing. I do hope you let me know what you think and what resonates with you. I love reading from you. I wish you abundance of blessings and namaste.